also for south african investors we know some people uh, they have interest in sasol so we haven't uh, had uh, sasol in our portfolio for quite some time now reason is simple sasol was very clear from the beginning sasol was uh, on a downtrend so we didn't have a reason to hold uh, sasol the last time we bought uh, sasol is when it attempted to trade above uh, 400 rand uh, per share and then that move uh, quickly faded as you can see the stock just shot up on that week and then uh, it closed lower it closed in red then the following week because our stop loss was somewhere here it triggered our stop loss so since around uh, june 2022 we haven't had the sasol position in our portfolio so that has worked well uh, for us because we saw that sasol continued uh, to trade lower coming back to that uh, previous resistance level which was broken again early uh, 2022 so for quite some time sasol consolidated above 300 uh, rent per share but as the oil weakness continued we saw that uh, sasol then it broke above uh, it, bro it broke below this level so now we are looking at this uh, support level somewhere around a uh, 240 uh, rent per share once again we're not predicting that sasol is going to fall uh, to 240 we just don't have uh, a position also if that happens at least we won't uh, have a position in there so we won't have anything to worry about but then should a uh, sasol fall to the at a level around uh, 240 250 then you can see maybe if it find a support it tries uh, to bounce in there but if it does bounce chances are it can come back uh, to this previous support level meaning that it can bounce them and then we are waiting to see if it will break above this level or if it's going to find resistance and then come back uh, to this level once again we don't have time to sit uh, for a stock while it is uh, bouncing up and down we understand that some of these companies can be paying dividends uh, while they are bouncing uh, up and down but for us uh, for as traders we just want a stock it should be clear if it's moving up it should move up then we make money if we are short that particular company and it is moving down then there is a possibility uh, for making money there but that's if uh, you are using a broker where you are able uh, to short so in summary we see that uh, there is oil weakness we are not interested in oil because of that weakness uh, the XLE ETF which we bought uh, in the US was also, also triggered uh, our stop loss as it retraced. We had an Exxon mobile position which has also triggered uh, a stop loss so we no longer have a position in that uh, sector at the moment. And also we've been bearish on Sasol for a while so we don't see any sign of strength uh, at the moment but that is from a trader's perspective you know investors and traders usually we see different things investors could see an opportunity to continue to pile up uh, these shares so do whatever that uh, fits your investing or trading strategy our strategy at this moment it is telling us to stay uh, on the sidelines so that's it that uh, i wanted to share with you today if you have any questions comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment uh, section we will respond to all of those and those people who haven't uh, subscribed please uh, consider subscribing and if you found value in this video please uh, make sure that you smash that like button we will see you on the next video